Hey guys, greetings on a Saturday afternoon where it's a chilly 98 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> no, it's maybe 99. I don't know. It's, it's disgustingly hot. Anyway, this is a request video. I've gotten requests from many of you asking me one question. Are the barbed wire fences going back up at the U.S. Capitol? Well, I figured I could walk around, but let's just walk around together and I'll let you guys see what I see and we'll see if there's any barbed wire fences, okay? So we're out on the west front of the Capitol grounds and we got a duck under this tree so you can see the dome again. And There we go. There's the Capitol Dome. So let's just go one whole time around the Capitol building. I'm just going to let the camera run so you guys can see what I see. I'll try to talk a little bit so you don't get bored. So over here is the House of Representatives, the new house building. The old house chamber is called Statuary Hall. It's right over there. And this is the hill that kids go sledding on in the winter time. <laughs> it's not very steep, but it actually, you get a pretty good long run when it gets kind of icy and you can sled. Well, I've never made it across this cement, but I guess some of the smaller kids can do it. There's some security cameras. These things are all over the place. And now let's go out to the west patio. Well, the real West Patio we can't get to because it's all blocked off. And it's been that way since 9-11, which is frustrating. Whew. So up there you can see the big white tarp and the black fence. There is a black fence there for the construction project that's going on, but there is no razor wire on top of it. None that I can see. Let me zoom in a bit. You can see the fence just above the ridge there. Oh, wow. So they actually put up a sign over here. What's happening? Architect a major restoration project to preserve and restore the historic exterior of the Capitol building, including the stone and decorative metalwork. And there's some pictures of the guys working on the stone. And you can go to aoc.gov, that's architectofthecapital.gov slash stone for more information about that. Now we're on the National Mall down behind us. There's the Washington Monument, the big stick as my kids call it. Reflecting pools right here. There's another one on the other side of the monument. There's a new temporary security camera that's been up for about the last year. I don't know when that's going to go down. Actually, it looks like a National Guard military type uh, camera system. And this is where the January 6th uh, entry points, this is where they kind of broke through into the Capitol, was out here on the west front. There's now, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six fences between here and the <laughs> construction. All right, let's, you know what, we're going to cut through the grass. <laughs> it's too hot to go on the cement. So this looks totally out of place. You see this red and white stick on top of the fire hydrant? That's for snow. <laughs> when there's snow, they need a little stick that comes up so you can see where the fire hydrant is. It's probably like the least needed thing. They're just too lazy to take it off, even though it's the middle of uh, July. Who in the shade. So they started some scaffolding up here on the old, on the Senate side. This is the Senate side. You can see that the tarp only continues on to the old Senate. The new Senate was previously not fenced in. You can see the fence ends there. But they do now have some scaffolding up there. I wasn't sure they're going to do all this. Maybe that's the next phase after they finish over there. That is one big construction project with a lot of scaffolding. Uh, anyway, looking around here, 
no fences, no razor wire, no barbed wire. Let's keep going up to the other side of the Capitol. We do have to walk up the hill because it is a hill. <laughs> So the forecast for today is actually better than tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna to be like 101 Fahrenheit. What is that, like 35, 36, 37 Celsius, something like that. Just really, really hot and it's humid. The air, well, there's not much of a breeze. You can see the tree moving a little, but the air is pretty stuffy. Whew. Now, in August, the House and Senate and most of, most of Washington, they just go on vacation. <laughs> the August adjournment is about a one-month break when the Congress just leaves. That started back, back in the days before air conditioning, and it's something that just continues on to this day. Now, this year, being an election year, we'll probably see them go on recess. Oh, beginning of October, so that they can all go back and campaign for re-election. So September and October are going to be pretty big. That's the Senator Taft bell tower you hear, and it is 4:30. Now, over there is one of the entrance points to the plaza, the East Plaza. That's where a police officer was killed last year in an attack. I don't know if he got hit by a car or something like that. I don't think he was shot. Now, they had a temporary marker there, but uh, they recently took it down and they're going to replace it with a, a permanent marker. Oh, looks like a scooter wiped out. <laughs> So when senators like often arrive, they go into this little driveway here and they can come off. And when the president or the vice president comes, they almost always go through there. Just much safer. Hey, we can go up on the Senate steps for a bit. Whew. So that's the Senate chamber. Let's get the big camera, I'll take a picture. And we're on the Senate side. There's the Statue of Freedom. Oh, let's keep going. Sorry about that. Put the big camera down. Now these skylights go down to the House, the Congress Visitor Center. Is that actually a skylight? Yeah, it is. Believe it or not, I've never been to the Visitor Center. My career on Capitol Hill ended before the Visitor Center was even built. So, uh, yeah, I think that's right. And I've never actually gone inside. We'll try to change that this fall. So over there, I believe that's the mobile arrest center. Now, remember we saw all those chairs and tables that they used to do the arrest of those congressmen? Well, the congresswomen, that's where they store Sort of a mobile processing facility. Um, all right. We've now gone 180 degrees around the Capitol. Still got to go around the House side. But as of yet, guys, no razor wire to be seen. No fences to be seen besides the bicycle racks that we see all the time. Nothing really new, guys. Well, that's the kind I showed you the other day, the scaffolding over on the House side. Off, uh, there's a hallway, that statuary hall right there. And then there's a hallway that connects it to the new house chamber. So 
So now we're coming up on the house side. This is the house steps. This is where, when I was a congressional aide, we used to bring staff, we used to bring like the visiting school group from whatever high school to come out and get a picture with a congressman. We would always set it up out here on these steps because you can get a pretty cool view. Let me see if I can demonstrate for you. Okay, so we look this way, but if you look the other way, there it is. Welcome to Washington. Here's a cool picture. All right. Here's the house chamber. Right, this is the house. Someone taking their Instagram photos. The other big construction project right now is the Cannon Building, which you can see over there. It's under some major renovation. That's been going on for years. There's the bicycle team over there. So that's the entrance to the patio. It used to be an incredible view of the city, but since 9-11, no such luck. Now right over there, that area is called the House Triangle, House Triangle, and that's a press conference area where congressmen can give press conferences. So you can often see press conferences out there. Nothing scheduled for Monday. I already checked the bulletin board. But we'll go out there sometime this week and show you a press conference. All right, let's go down this side. This is kind of where the contractors enter. There's like a scaffolding staircase, and I think there's a separate security booth out here for the contractors. So they don't actually go through the building, which is even more secure. They can come through this entrance, though, to get out to the patio. Oof. It's hot, guys. <laughs> but, you know, I got a whole bunch of messages that there was, I, you know, I think we're almost a full full loop around the Capitol and we have not seen any barbed wire, any razor wire anywhere. I think what's happening is I think people are sending pictures from last year where we did have razor wire and uh, they're being misidentified as this year because, well, I don't see it. I just don't see it. All right, let's go back down. A US, U.S. Capitol Police security trailer, authorized personnel only. So that must be the entrance for the contractors who are going up to do their work. Whew. Well, that wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. I mean, it is hot, but I didn't die. There's another camera system. They're all everywhere, aren't they? But uh, for point of reference, right over there, guys, that's the sledding hill I showed you at the beginning. Uh, just a few moments ago we've made it one whole loop around the u.s capitol building and guys i just can't find any razor wire or any new fences we've got those fences i've shown you before the ones that are over there but uh, there's no razor wire on top and well like i said show not tell i've now shown you what i can see i hope that answers you guys' questions about what's going on here at the u.s capitol I'll be back soon. We'll come up with another video to show you, but I wanted to make this quick one because, you know, my messages have been going crazy today. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Bye-bye.